Hello and welcome. This is a quick mod showcase for the new just released DLC, the Zix 612H Mastodon. I thought I'd quickly show off. I don't, this is my first of this type of uh, feature for this official DLC. Um, looks like a very capable truck and we'll try and find out just how much it is, but we're going to customize it. I've done a few bits of customizing just to have a quick look around, get a bit familiar with it. But what we've got is, and I'll show you all of the available add-ons. There are a few that are mods, but we'll obviously figure that out. So, biggest engines. Biggest you can go is A+. So, it's a heavy beast if that's the best you're going to get out of it. 500 litres of fuel, so not a bad range, but you're probably going to need that because it's going to be a thirsty beast, I would imagine. Three gearboxes. I usually go with off-road or the fine-tune. Probably not a bad selection, I suppose. Choice of one, suspension. Stock, no active suspension, no raised, no nothing. Again, this is probably going to be a prime candidate for the modders to get their teeth into and uh, totally max it out. Anyway, tyres. Quite a decent range. I went for those because I just like the look of them and pretty much they're all excellent, excellent and poor for each and every one of them. So, basically pick the one you like the look of the best. Off-roads and they come with these to begin with. So... Mm, not particularly nice looking anyway but you also get chains which is nice i don't believe the 605r has chains anyway so that's tires we have the usual selection of winches i just stuck the advanced heavy on pretty expensive winches spare tires tucked away not too bad shouldn't affect anything so add that without the loss of any other functionality Snorkel, choice of two. They're tucked in there, these two black things. You don't get much of a height advantage from any of them, even over stock. So even if I, if I remove that, that's it removed. So you're not seeing anything. Basically, don't become a submarine and you should be fine. Frame add-ons. This is probably the most interesting part. So you've got the cranes. I'll just go slowly through them all. Flatbed, two slots. you still got the log, the seismic, sideboard. A crane. Situated halfway down. Not ideal. However, we'll come back to that. That's my stronger one. Got a high saddle and a low saddle. Long sideboard. This is unique to this guy. Three slots, which is very nice indeed. But you'll not be fitting a crane with this setup, unfortunately. However, we'll, we'll continue. If you're still doing uh, the, the region with the water, 2,500 litres specific to this vehicle, looks quite fitting for it. So that's great. However, if we were to go back to say the sideboard and fit that I think uh, maybe a crane in there would be nice but if you go and put the crane back on it moves it forward and you get a rear mounted crane that's handy especially if you're pulling a trailer because you can spin it around there's still a hitch at the back so you're not affecting any dolly trailers which is really nice and if you look at the angle from the back what a really nice wide stance of the tyres. So it would appear like you're less likely to tip over. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, like that. And as you can see, I've got the roof racks. So let's go and show that. One little, those little white, or are they silver? Whatever they are, covers. That's all you get for that. They are fitted. Rooftop, four out of five you can have. The saviour is this r supporting frame around it and you need that fitted to put the spare tyre on it. Then you've got these, 150 repair parts, 140 fuel, quite nice, and you're probably going to need it. And we've got the little 
roof uh, lights on the Savior frame. That is separate, obviously. Bumpers. I kind of left it with this one purely because it's nice and tight into the body and it doesn't affect the ground height. Whereas the lattice sticks out a little bit further and the barrier. Good looking one, maybe will fit that. Just because it kind of ties in with the rest of the framework. Miscellaneous. We have beacons. Stuck on the edge, that's nice. Horn. And twin horns tucked underneath the frame. That's that. Three exhausts. I chose this one because it's kind of like looks pretty decent. Uh, the rectangular shape underneath. Stock is this one. And that's your back rolled. Pick your favourite out of that lot. I just went with that. Choice of two rims, depending probably on which wheels you've got fitted. And then the paint schemes. There's a stock olive green but I thought I'd go for the orange since it's pretty decent with that I'm going to send it out to the, into the wilderness probably as you can see I'm in the lowland of Maine because we can go straight into some nasty mud sounds quite nice and I like how the fumes are off to the side they don't get in the way so you can see the horn is not bad it's only front two axles are steering, but it's got a wide turning circle. Chucking out lots of smoke. And with the fine-tuned gearbox, it's it's not gonna win any races, but it's not too slow. I mean I this will be a basic driving test to show it off it's quite slow steering as well I've noticed so you can get caught out with that quite easily I'll just leave it in automatic to see how it handles it if it starts to bog down and drop down to first gear or even to a standstill this is always quite nasty mud and snow in here still in sixth gear is it going to finally drop no, it's just going to try and bog itself down. So lots of torque, but to make any progress, we're going to have to drop to low. Or even make high ratio. So initial thoughts are it's pretty capable. It's very similar on a a par to the 605 R. That's another good truck that you probably have in your garage quite quick if you can. Again, spinning the wheels, dropping it down a low ratio, and you keep moving. It's got some nice. The, the, the rear axle is really close to the back, so you don't feel like if you are reversing over any bumps, you're going to do any further damage. Okay. Again, you wouldn't want to put this thing completely submerged. You're going to start suffering some major damage probably to the engine. But we're still moving. He's not... He's not overpowered in that sense. This is going to be a heavy old beast. And even in low ratio, we're putting out 20 litres a minute in bits. So your 500 litres will disappear. off we go again. Not too bad at all. Let's go off-road some more. High ratio and he just plows through everything. Long bit over the front of the axle and the cab so you might find a little bit like the as of 73210, as the front digs into ground. Yeah, just a little bit slowing it up.
The only thing I'm finding a little bit strange is this is a separate DLC, a paid DLC. This cost £3.29. I'm not sure what your own currency will be, but it's it's not majorly expensive, but it's one truck plus some stickers, which are free. And it comes with a whole bunch of bug fixes for Ontario, which is nice in itself. But I think that those bug fixes are basically a little bit too late, considering most people have now moved on from Ontario. So there we have it. One six one two H. I think he's still worth having in the garage, and I'll hopefully get some use out of him very soon. Bye for now.